I'm betting that you're watching this because Black Friday is coming at you faster than you ever thought it would and you don't have anything organized. And you're wondering how am I going to be ready for Black Friday in one month from now? And you want me to tell you what you should do and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. Sure, it's better to start early, but if you haven't, we're going to talk about what you can still do now, whether you sell on Etsy or on your own website, and then break that down into three promotion stages and six implementation steps. Ready? Let's dive in. Oh, and before I forget, I also have a checklist to help you implement uh, what I'm going to be teaching in this video and really be your guide as you set up your Black Friday promotion. So make sure that you go and download it. It's just below this video. Okay, let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Dev and I'm the founder of Tiz It That Co, a membership community for makers and handmade sellers just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community and our programs at Tiz It That Co and also I'll drop the link just below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation, how to get ready for Black Friday in a month. So in a perfect world, you've watched this video where I told you how to prepare ahead of time for your best Black Friday yet. And in doing so, in a perfect world again, you've attracted new people into your world. So you've added people to your social media following and to your email list. And you've welcomed them, gotten them to like you and earn their trust, essentially priming them so that they have enough trust to buy when Black Friday comes. You've also warmed up existing customers, existing followers and existing email subscribers and you might have done that either with uh, organic strategy or paid strategies as I explained in that other video I mentioned. Now if you've done that great this video is going to build on top of it and we're going to talk about what you should do now that you've done all those things like how do you practically run the sale right what are the dates and strategy going to be and what needs to happen when right but if you haven't done any of that you can still organize a Black Friday sale in time. It just means that you are going to be focusing on your existing audiences. It's not that it's not possible to build your audience now. It's just that it's a bit late to make that happen from a timing perspective, especially if you're talking about, you know, Facebook or Instagram ads or anything like that, right? Not only paid ads at this time of the year are really expensive, but there's also not that much that you can magically do in the next two weeks to organically ramp up your your follower account or your subscriber account. So don't panic though, there's still a lot that you can do with your existing audience, which is what we're going to talk about right now. So for your Black Friday strategy, you are actually going to organize two phases of your Black Friday sale, the early bird sale and the actual Black Friday sale. So first is the early bird sale. Your early bird sale is going to be in the week before Thanksgiving or Black Friday, and it's going to be exclusive for only the people who have said they wanted to know about this early bird sale. For this sale, you might offer a higher discount than what your Black Friday discount is going to be. Or if you don't offer a higher discount, you might just choose to do a completely different sale. So something that won't be available for your Black Friday sale. You could create a special bundle or maybe offer a special product, but whatever the case may be, it will be essentially something different or extra on top of what you, you will offer for Black Friday. And then you will have your Black Friday sale, the sale that is open to the public, to anyone visiting your shop or website. Now that you've defined each phase of your Black Friday sale, let's talk about the steps you need to take to prepare. First, let's take a look at the stages of your Black Friday preparation. The goal of the first stage is to get people to register for your early bird sale. So this is where you get on your email list and on your social networks, whichever ones you know you're using, and email and post content that says you have an early bird sale coming up and give people a chance to sign up for it by submitting their email. Even if someone is already on your email list, they're not going to have access to this early bird sale unless they say yes I want to know about your early bird sale right and then you will segment those people into your early bird sale email list 
When this first stage ends, you will have everyone who is interested in your early bird sale signed up and you are going to email your early bird promo information to only those people. Because remember, the early bird sale is private, it's not public, it's only for people who have raised their hand and said, I want to know about this. Next, in this middle section, you will have two things going on. For people registered for the early bird, they will be receiving the actual early bird sale, right? So they'll be getting your emails with the early bird details and links and they'll be purchasing those things on your website. For people who haven't registered for your early bird sale, you are promoting your actual black Friday sale. And then the final stage will be your actual Black Friday sale, right? So now that you have the stages of your Black Friday uh, planning mapped out, your next goal is to define your dates for the early bird promo, the early bird sale, the Black Friday promo, and the Black Friday sale. Your early bird promo starts about a week before your early bird sale. This is the week where you'll be sending emails and making social media posts to get people to sign up for that early bird notification list. Then comes your early bird sale and your Black Friday promo period. The early bird sale would typically end a day or two before you start your actual Black Friday sale. I would recommend running your early bird sale anywhere between three days to a week. If you run it for less than that, it's going to be hard to leverage and running it for more than a week is just too long. People are going to lose interest and the sale is going to just kind of lose momentum. Now your Black Friday sale can start on Thanksgiving or it can start on the actual Black Friday and the sale will usually go all the way through the Cyber Monday which then also covers Small Business Saturday. But again here you can decide whether you want it to actually just be the one day of Black Friday. My recommendation though is to extend that all the way to Monday. This is very common these days and it's going to give you more chances to send more emails and get in front of more people. Not everyone is going to see your email on Black Friday because it's a really really crazy day right? So by making the sale a little bit longer you can increase how many times you put that message in front of people and give yourself better chances at more sales essentially. Now you have all the dates that you need to plan for and you've blocked them out right because without knowing those you can't decide on anything else. Next we move to step three which is to create a page where people can actually sign up for the early bird sale. So this is the landing page that people are going to be taking to from your emails or your social media post that advertised the early bird sale and said click here to sign up. Your goal here is to make it super easy for your followers to enter the email and to set it up so that those followers are seamlessly added to your email list and tagged to receive your early bird sale emails. Once your landing page is is up and running, you then want to decide on what products and what discount strategy you will use for your sales. Essentially deciding what your offer will be for Black Friday and also for the early bird. Your goal here is to come up with a list of sales that will really appeal to your ideal customer and make them want to buy your products. You want to think about details like, is your sale on one collection or one product? Is it store-wide? Are you going to be offering sets or bundles that are exclusive to Black Friday? What upsells or order bumps are you going to offer? There are many options here. If you would like some clever ideas, I actually have an article that is full of tips and ideas to increase your average order value and I'll link to it below. Remember that you will need to do this for both early bird and Black Friday sale so you need to plan for both. For example, let's say you make candles, you might decide that you will create some exclusive candle gift sets and in your promo email say get your hands on those exclusive limited edition holiday gift sets and for my early bird sale enter code exclusive 30 to get 30% off. This 30% discount is the highest discount your customers will ever see for those items so they'll know it's an amazing deal that they won't see again for a long time. And then for Black Friday for example you might decide to offer only 20% on those same products. Now a very important tip here if you are going to offer a blanket discount across your entire shop like 20% off your order all products, you still need to be specific in how you communicate this with your customers. And what I mean by this is if every day your messaging in your email and on social media is 
everything is 20% off, everything is 20% off, everything is 20% off, it will get old very, very quickly, right? It's not specific enough to appeal to people and entice them to click and to go to your shop and buy. So in your messaging and promos, you want to define things, right? You want to define the categories that are on sale, but mostly define those key products that are on sale because you know they are the best sellers or because you know that they make great gifts for Christmas, for example, or because you know that they are your most recent releases. So for example, that would mean that instead of spending a week sending emails or social posts that are saying each everything is 20% off, you maybe send one post or email that's saying that and in the rest you focus on one specific product or one specific angle. Maybe one day that means emailing only about what you know are your top three best sellers, the next day about your relaxing candles range, the next about your holiday gift sets, etc. Right? One precise framing in each email or piece of content rather than the very broad all for 20 percent off. Once you've decided on promo strategies, it's time to decide which platform you're going to be promoting your sales on. Email is obviously always going to be one, but then maybe you're on Facebook, maybe you're on Instagram, maybe you're on TikTok, whatever the case might be. Write that down and then write down how many content pieces you're going to need across those weeks. You'll need uh, content for the early bird promo stage, which is probably going to be a week before the actual early bird sale every day so you need a piece of content each day to get people to sign up on that landing page. Then you have the actual early bird sale every day. So what is the message going to be in your emails? And in that week, while the early bird sale is live, what are you going to be posting to tease Black Friday to people who didn't sign up for early bird? And then finally for Black Friday, you will want content that says what great deal you are offering that day. Don't be afraid to post and to email several times a day during that time to make sure that you reach as many people as possible. Now onto your final step. Your goal here is to be sure that you don't make any small mistakes that can cause big problems during or after your sale. I know you've heard this if you've watched my other Black Friday preparation video, but I want to say again that using video in your content is very important as is making sure that everything is mobile optimized because people are going to be buying from their mobile. They already are, right? But even more so for Black Friday. Also, make sure to adjust your production levels to ensure Sure that you have enough stock of the products that you're actually selling and promoting and clearly communicate the delivery timeline as in you know telling people this is going to take me five days to make or I will ship your order in two to five days and when you set those timelines make sure to set them so that they would be realistic if you were to get a high volume of orders which is what we're wishing for. Now I know that preparing for early bird and Black Friday um, can be a bit overwhelming. So I've put together a checklist that you can print out and work through one step at a time. This way you're sure not to overlook anything and you'll have an easy guide to follow. The link is just below this video. So make sure to go and download that next and you'll be ready to hit the ground running and plan an amazing Black Friday. Thanks for watching and until next time, au revoir.